hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss types of constructors there are three types of constructors default parameterized and copy constructor the constructor we have discussed in our previous video is default constructor which invokes by default when you create any object of a program and it is used to initialize the default value of data members of that class this default constructor is also called no argument constructor because in general we do not pass any argument in that constructor so here is the example we are having class demo and with the same name we have created constructor demo inside that i am assigning value 10 to members m and n so if i create object demo d1 this constructor will call automatically and it will assign value 10 to data members m and n next is parameterized constructor constructors that can take arguments are called parameterized constructor let us directly see an example here is the class demo and for demo we have created constructor but right now it is passing some argument x and y and i'm assigning value x to data members m and y to data member n and some message so this is parameterized constructor now question comes how to call this constructor so we will call demo then object and with the name of object we are supposed to pass argument 5 and 6 so when you create this object it will pass 5 and 6 to x and y and it will assign to data members of that object so for object d1 value of m will be 5 value of n will be 6 now next is copy constructor it is used to initialize an object from another object using object as an argument in parameterized constructor if we pass in object as argument then it will be converted into copy constructor let us see how a parameter constructor which accept a reference to its own class as a parameter that is called copy constructor let us see example of copy constructor here we are having class demo inside that we have created one parameterized constructor so let us create object object 1 inside that i am passing argument 5 and 6 so it will call this parameter constructor and assign values to the data members 5 and 6 to the m and n now if i create object 2 and inside that i am passing object 1 as argument so for that constructor should be written like this here we are having class demo and creating reference to object 1 so now object 1 will also call as x so if i write object 1 dot m object 1 dot n it will be similar like x dot m and x dot n so ultimately we are copying object 1 to object Two. so copy constructor is used to copy one object to another object so here object one will be recognized as x because we have created reference over here and value 5 and 6 will be assigned to mn and that is the members of object 2 copy constructor is also written like this so if you write object 2 and pass argument as object 1 it will call this copy constructor or if you write object 2 equal object 1 it will again call this copy constructor let us go for example code to understand this concept in detail here we are having class rectangle inside that private members are length and height so first of all let us create a default constructor inside that I am assigning value 0 to length and 0 to height so whenever any object created it will assign 0 to length and height I am giving message default constructor so we can know that this constructor is called so here I am creating one object R1 It will call default constructor over here and assign value 0 to length and height now let us create parameterized constructor 
I am passing two arguments x and y of type integer and assigning it to the length over here here x y and I will give message that is parameterized so if I write object 2 with argument 5 and 6 if I execute this program first of all it will call default constructor for object R1 and parameterized constructor for object R2 now here if I comment this code default constructor and let us execute this program no matching function call for rectangle found that means here you have created one parameterized constructor but you are not passing any parameters over here so if you are writing any parameterized constructor you are how to write default constructor as well because all objects may not have parameter now let us create copy constructor inside that I'm passing one reference of type rectangle itself and assigning values of that x dot length and x dot height and message is copy constructor is call now I'm creating third object r3 and passing r2 as argument let us execute this code default constructor parameter as constructor and copy constructor is called back to back same statement can be written like this so it will be having same output so if you pass object as argument or you write equal to operator both will provide you same output so this is how all types of constructor works thank you